So what's going on with forbearance? I just recently saw an article that said 2.7 million people in the United States took advantage of forbearance. And I was one of them. I had a home in Florida that I'd owned for many years and you know I was trying to get it sold. The people that were renting it weren't gonna buy it and so they you know, they, they moved out. I had no income coming in from that. And so I reached out to my bank and asked for, you know, the forbearance period. And I was able to get the home listed and get it sold, you know, within that 90 day time frame. And then um, the bank got paid. So the article went on to say that 58% of people that, you know, took advantage of the forbearance will continue to live in their home for a year or more. They said 24% um, were going to probably sell their home within a year, get it listed and sell it. And then another 18%, unfortunately, were going to receive a foreclosure notice, you know, due to whatever the circumstances are, you know, a lost job, you know, they got laid off, you know, the unemployment rate went down to almost 15%, and then we had a rapid recovery up to 6.7%. A lot of people are still with without a job right now, which is, you know, we want everybody to be employed. Everyone who wants to be employed, we want them employed and, you know, making their payments. But, you know, if, if you find yourself that, you know, you're one of those people, one of those 18 percent and you can't make your mortgage payments and it doesn't look like things are, you know, your bank's not going to extend the forbearance period, then um, I think we should talk. You know, you could have equity in your home. The same article that I was reading said, three uh, on a three hundred thousand dollar home, we've gained like, um, well, this past year, twenty twenty, we the home values went up seven point three percent, and then they're predicting this year that home values will continue to increase and we're going to get about 6%, somewhere between 4 and 6%. But that's going to equate to about 54000 on a $300,000 home. So 54000 in equity without doing anything to your home. So that's one big advantage of being a homeowner. And you could very well have, you know, equity in your home. And that's what I'd like to talk to you about and see, you know, what we can do. Because the last thing you want to do is give your home back to the bank or the mortgage company. They do not want your home, you know, because they're going to have to sell it to get their money back and probably take a loss, you know. And so, um, you know, if any of this is ringing true, you know, for you or your situation, please, you know, reach out. My name is Jane French. I'm with Keller Williams Realty. And my number is 843-813-3390. My contact information is above the video. And I'd just love to talk with you and see how we can help. You know, it's not going to be high pressure. I'm not going to, like, talk to you into anything you don't want to do. But I just want to make sure you're aware of all your options. So, all right. Uh, I hope to hear from you soon. All right, bye-bye.